According to an estimate, about 34% of the people upgrade their phone every single year. But do you really need to upgrade your smartphone over a specific improvement in camera, chipset or maybe battery? Today we are going to find out exactly why you should not upgrade your phone every single year. And by the way, if you're new to this channel, my name is Aridas and I make tech videos for a living. Well, not technically living because it's not paying me well. But anyways, let's begin. So let's start from the first case scenario that you would be upgrading your smartphone and that could be performance issues or really a new chipset that you're really interested in. Now if you are a normal average person who likes to play a bit of games, like to use social media and YouTube videos, then, then it isn't worth to upgrade to a new smartphone for a new chipset because in real world usage all those Geekbench scores or benchmark scores translate to nothing actually. I mean if you look on paper every single year Year, a new chipset comes out there is about 15 to 35 percent of incremental upgrade but it still doesn't make sense in real world usage while you're using the phone you won't feel anything except for if you're using a phone with a laggy UI the only scenario where it's best to upgrade the phone for a chipset would be if you are a gamer and even in that case the difference isn't huge because most smartphone vendors don't focus on optimizing games rather they focus on using newer GPUs and newer CPUs into their smartphones and that does doesn't make sense. Let's talk about the second world usage and second case scenario where you would like to upgrade your smartphone and that would be camera of course. Looking on paper 108 megapixel, 48 megapixel, 64 megapixel all sound really good when you have a 12 megapixel phone but trust me I've used all of them and the best image I got was from a 12 megapixel phone sensor and that was an iPhone 12 Pro and again at the same time it wouldn't make sense if you upgrade just for the sake of megapixel because megapixel count does does not translate to a better quality photo. It does mean more detail but if your phone lacks in color processing or dynamic range there is literally no use of having more megapixel count. Now let's talk about the third point which could be about the design and I would be brutally honest with you people fall for it and I myself am a victim of this I fall for the designs and every real smartphone vendors try to make more and more uh, visual appealing designs they like to appeal to a bigger audience and that's in fact pretty cool because we get to see competitive new smartphone designs but only for the sake of design you shouldn't base your judgment of upgrading to a new smartphone just on the sake of design because in the end all you have to do is use the smartphone. Yes, build quality does make a difference when the phone is in your hand, but it doesn't make a difference in UI or the way you interact with, does it? Let's talk about the fourth thing, which could be the display. You could be a person who likes to have a bigger display, or you could be the person who likes to have more refresh rate, just like me. Or in fact, you could be the person who wants more PPI on their display, they want higher resolution. And that also makes a bit of sense, but not completely. Because if the other all areas of the smartphones are not worth upgrading, for you then display alone wouldn't be the determining factor and if you're looking for multimedia consumption you should be okay with any display on YouTube or Netflix on smartphone really because it's such a small and tiny screen if you're really looking to invest you can invest that money into a bigger display at your home you could have a bigger LED or OLED and that would make a lot of difference for your multimedia consumption on Netflix and YouTube you could buy a smart TV and that is my guys my five reasons that you should not be upgrading a smartphone over the course of one year if it doesn't make sense. Now, the best case scenario that you should be upgrading your phone is that you're tired with your phone after years of using it. And I'm not talking about five, seven years. I do not recommend keeping your phone for that long. I mean, yes, it's good for the ba bank and budget, but it's really not good because you should be upgrading your phone to about two to five years. That is the uh, bracket from which you should be upgrading your smartphone from. And that is from my judgment of upgrading smartphones. I upgrade almost five to six smartphones in a single year and only the last year I've just fallen for a new smartphone about three times but now I am slowly learning and I now used a single smartphone for eight months and that looks like an achievement to me and then I upgraded to another phone in fact and I used it for six months and now I'm looking to keep another phone for like a year or so so that is it for the video hope you guys like it make Make sure to subscribe for more tech videos like this. This is your host Aradasan and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.